guys. Welcome to my channel, Show Me Beautiful. I have really been looking forward to doing this skincare edition. This one is Skincare Save or Splurge. And I don't like to give away the ending of a movie, but here's what I'm going to tell you. You can buy every single thing you need right at the drugstore. Stay tuned so we can talk about some things that I do like to splurge on. So really, what is our goal with skincare, right? What is it? Our goal is to have smooth, hydrated, bright, calm skin. Doesn't that sound pretty? It's just like I kind of want my personality to be, if I'm really talking. Talk about three things. We're gonna talk about the first, the things that you for sure should buy at the drugstore. Secondly, the things that I do splurge on. Uh, because they're a little more luxurious and, you know, I think they have a little more bang for my buck. And then at the end, I'm going to talk to you about a brand that's kind of in the middle. And I think most of us kind of go high-low, right? Anywho, let's get right into it. The number one thing that I don't like to spend money on are things that go down the drain. So that would be cleanser. And that's the product you and I use the most. Da, da that's what I do. You know, thanks, thanks guys. Truly, they're safe and they're effective. I recommend using my cloth. Let's just take it off while we're here, right? Our skin is clean. The second group of products that we use the most are moisturizers. And really, you know, it's all about the ingredients and you know, they're kind of cult favorites. The Neutrogena for the daytime and the Olay for the evening. The ingredients really are good. Look how luxurious. That feels so good. And imagine if I had a little fridge, I could put that in and be even more luxurious. The next group of products that I really buy at the drugstore or are eye cream. I started doing all this. You know, I didn't really ever buy an eye cream. So I started using all these eye creams, you know, for the little delicate under eye area. And then I got these things called Melia. So they're little tiny white bumps. They're like full of keratin. So that's because I've overused eye products and eye cream and I haven't exfoliated correctly. Anywho, that's my problem, probably not yours. This group of products that they are so good. These are the ones I use. These are broad spectrum. They have a tint, you know, because Liza likes to look good when I'm out walking or at lunch or something. And truly in the summer, this is what I wear every single day as my foundation. on three different kinds of skincare, exfoliators, serums, and oils. So let's talk exfoliators. Uh, you know, that's something that I didn't used to do before I got into all this mess. And that really was the secret to having brighter skin. So the first group are my exfoliators. This is a cult favorite, this pumpkin one. Of course, I like to use it in the fall. It is granulate, but you know, in the fall, when I'm between seasons, that's what I like. And truly the one that I don't need a season to love are these Dennis Gross, Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Gentle Peels. I like it fast and I like it easy. So these are the product that I don't go very green on. I love serums. Serums are the product that go in deepest into our skin layers. And you know, that's what I want. You know, I don't want the stuff that just sits on the surface. Um, I tried this Jan Marini whole skincare line. I really enjoyed that. Um, anything by Chantecai, uh, the ingredients are just a treat. I stand by them. Hi, Benny. This is one that my new favorite this is called Potent Lift um, Advanced, Serum, Advanced Serum for Aging, Wrinkles, Sagging, Puffiness, and Fine Lines. Well, are they talking about me or what? Our group of products where I treat myself are oils. And I really didn't start using them, gals, till, you know, about a year ago. 
because my skin is so dry. And for you all that have oily skin, remember, oils, they don't make your skin oily. In fact, you have dry skin even though you think you have oily skin. Anyway, I'm not a, not a dermatologist. But here are my favorite oils. This is a CEO uh, oil that I use in the morning. So it's easy, it's got moisturizing in there and it really stays on. And it looks great under my makeup because it gives me that glowy look. This is another one that I love in, this is by uh, La Mercier Flawless Skin. So what does an oil look like? It has a little dropper. It feels so good and be sure to go down the neck, right? Because I talked, I did, I just did a video on my decollete. In the evening, this is again by Sunday Riley and this one has, uh, this one has a little retinol in it. And again, be careful, you have to build up to it. The uh, last category are things that I splurge on um, that are masks and I use them at night because that's usually when I have more time. So these are products by Laneige. This is a Korean brand that I highly recommend. And look at that, oops, time for a refill. I mean, it's super luxurious and you just slather this on. And sometimes that's the only product I use at night. Another one that I love is by Peter Thomas Roth and it is a cucumber gel mask. It says Extreme Detox Hydrator. It refreshes, cools. Uh, it's got papaya and chamomile. So sometimes gals, because I do my makeup so often and I take it on and off, my skin gets kind of irritated. That look yummy. It looks like the mint jelly, right? I mean, whoever said skincare uh, isn't a messy thing, but it is super calming. I hope you enjoyed today's video on skincare saves and splurges. You know you can get it all at the drugstore, but why not treat yourself? Um, and remember, it's no good if you don't use it, right? Start with looking in your drawers and finishing using that, and then go out and edit and make a list of things you do need. My guess is a lot of us are forgetting our vitamin C and our retinol.